I'm going to be showing you how to do all the puzzles in Utapaw's Paw City within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Free Play. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first puzzle we're going to be doing is located in this first door on the left side. This one's called Get Uta My Shop. So this one is fairly simple. All you have to do is walk inside and you're going to see a whole bunch of droids kind of causing a bunch of damage across the place. So all you have to do is go around and cause some more damage and kill all of the droids in the area. So uh, it's pretty simple. After you destroy, uh, you know, all the ones that are in there, it'll keep spawning more for a couple more waves. There's eventually going to be a droidica in there or two. Once you destroy all of them, you will then finish the puzzle. You can then talk to this character right here and he will give you a cover brick for Get Uta My Shop. So next up, we're going to do shopping for silver. This is going to be on the door on the right side, so the opposite door here in the main area. We're going to walk inside, and this one is even simpler. All you have to do is switch to a villain character, throw your grenade at the silver Lego object to get the kyber brick for shopping for silver. All right, now we're going to do scaling the skeleton on the bottom right side of the map. So we're going to have this big skeleton. You're going to see a grapple hook point, so you switch to a grapple character like an astromech droid or a hero character anybody like that to get up on top of the skeleton and from there keep playing as the grapple character to grapple again up to the kyber brick for scaling the skeleton all right so next up we're going to head to the back side or the top of the map for crystal cleanup and this is going to require you to destroy 10 of these blue crystals around the area and uh, most of these are pretty simple but there are like two or three that are in sort of like hard to find locations but you will be able to see all the locations here in this video if you slow it down. Um, so here is one right there, and we have two more. Now these last two are a little bit tricky. Um, so you can see here, I'm going to look up, and here is the ninth one right there. And the tenth one that I'm going to get here is definitely the most tricky. Uh, so we're going to get on top of this balcony here, just above where we were. Then we're going to look up in this tiny little crack in the wall, and there it is. And we're just going to throw our lightsaber up there, or you can shoot it to destroy all 10 to get the kyber brick for crystal cleanup so there we go so next up we're going to do pawn pile up i guess is how you say that um so uh this is fairly simple once you get to the area this basically use the force on uh, multiple i think you have to do like five or six of these orange blocks so uh, it's definitely i think the most that i've seen in this game so far that you've had to stack on top of each other so there is four and then we're going to get a fifth one here and I guess it's just five, so yeah, definitely quite a bit there. And we'll climb all the way up to get the Kyber Brick for Pollen Pile Up. All right, so next up, we're gonna go to the left of that for Bridge and Tunnel, a fairly simple uh, name there for this one. It's not any sort of funny pun or anything. So we're just gonna fall down here and go across this little bridge to get the Kyber Brick for Bridge and Tunnel. So fairly simple, just follow the uh, you know objective, and you should be able to get that one. Next up, we're going to do Droid Dividend. So this is just to the left of the one we just did on a level below it. And destroy the nearby LEGO objects to reveal an astromech panel. Go ahead and hack the astromech panel with, well, what else? An astromech droid. That will open up the cage, giving you access to the Kyber Brick for Droid Dividend. All right, so next up, we're going to do Paw Plexing Problem. This is going to be on the bottom side of the map. And the solution to this one is 3, 4, 2. So light up. The switch is left to right to the third, fourth, and second positions for the blue light. And that will open up the cage, giving you the kyber brick for paw plexing problem. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated to figure out than that, but uh, there's the solution. And that's all you really need. So next up, we're going to do Welcome to Paw City. All you have to do is get up here to this high vantage point and jump across with a double jumping character to get the kyber brick for Welcome to Paw City. Next up, we're going to do Pressure Pods, I guess you could say, or pads pods however you say it there's going to be four pressure pads around this area all you have to do is stand on them within the time frame that'll open up the cage giving you access to the kyber brick for pressure pods all right so next up we are going to do pruning in paw this is going to be on the far left side left middle of the map and so there's going to be this cage with a kyber brick behind it now how do you get inside well look up and destroy the lego uh you know plant uh, life that's covering the switch and then grapple up to the switch with a grapple character to unlock the cage giving you the kyber brick for pruning and paw and all right now for the most complex kyber brick or puzzle within this area this one's called creature comfort so there's going to be this character right here you can talk to and we're going to move the nearby we have to basically get this food over here to these uh creatures that obi-wan rode in the movie and 
Also, tell me the name of those creatures in uh, from the movie, and you'll get a heart on your comment. Uh, so yeah, so from here, there's going to be this little elevator that you have to move around. And so we're going to put a piece of food on the elevator by using a force user character. And then from there, we can uh, move it over here to the correct spot where we have to feed these creatures right here. So there is one down, and we got a few more to go. So there's going to be two pieces of food at the very bottom level. So we're going to move the elevator all the way down. Make sure you leave a character holding it in position, or else the elevator will just go up automatically. And I don't know, I don't know if you're supposed to do this like one at a time, but I just stacked both pieces of food on top of each other, and that seemed to work just fine. So we're going to get up to this middle level where it needs to be. We're going to use our other character to move it up into place like so. And once it's in place, have your other character hold it there, and then we can use the force to move the food in the correct position in front of the creatures. So there should be three that you have to get uh, using that elevator. And once you get those three into place, there's going to be a couple more that you need, which are just conveniently located. I guess there's three more, but they're all conveniently located, you know, right next to where you need to go. So you don't have to do any crazy puzzle solving to get those. And once you put all six pieces of food into place, that will then give you the kyber brick for creature comforts. So yeah, definitely a lot of steps to that one. If you need help, be sure to slow down that video and it should show you exactly what to do. Next up, we're going to do net over it. This is going to be on the top side of the map. There's going to be uh, this net here, so switch to a scavenger character and use their net launcher ability. If you don't have this ability unlocked, that means you need to play through either episode 6 or 7 in the story mode and you'll unlock that for all your scavenger characters. Climb up the net to get the kyber brick for net over it. Next up, we're going to move to the right top side of the map. We're going to do cliffhanger. So for this one, there's going to be a nearby peg that you can put in the place in the wall. It's also going to be some handlebars that you need to destroy the plants off of. And once we do that, we can climb all the way up this cliff to get the cover brick for cliff in here. So kind of a lot of uh, climbing with that one. So next up, we're going to do cracked cave. This is going to be on the very top right side of the map. Now once we get there from that cliff that we were just on, we can fall down here and there's going to be a uh, kind of scavenger puzzle here so switch to your breaker blaster to destroy the weak wall across the way then switch to the glider ability to glide across to get to the cave to get the cover brick for cracked cave so there we go and next up we're going to move just to the left of there to get cruising the goalpost. so from here uh, this is where we climbed up that cliff switch to a grapple character to grapple onto these handlebars on this pole and jump up and get the cover brick for cruising the goalpost. So we're going to move just south of there, barely, for Rootin, Tootin, Utapaw, Shootin. And uh, so from here, we're going to switch to a shooting character, like a, or a blaster character, I guess would be the better term, like a bounty hunter like I'm using here, and shoot all four targets within time limit on this little statue to unlock the cage for Rootin, Tootin, Utapaw, Shootin. So on the left side of the map here, we're going to do stop and drop. So once you get up on top of here to this rooftop where the game guides you to, you can then grapple across with a grapple character to reach the ledge for stop and drops kyber brick. So from there, we're going to move to the pretty much middle of the map for tower of power, I guess, or par. And uh, so we're just going to grapple up several times from the previous kyber brick using a grapple character like a bounty hunter or astromech droid or hero character. Once you get up here, I'd recommend switching to a double jumping character like a Jedi and jump on top of these like mushroom looking uh, statues to get the kyber brick for Tower of Power. So next up, we're going to move to the bottom side of the map for Cliffside Glide. So there's going to be this zip line which you can take down next to that skeleton uh, puzzle that we did earlier in this video and there's going to be four switches that we need to pull within a 90 second time frame. Now this time frame is very forgiving so you should I mean I even fell off the edge there and died and I was still able to do this with plenty of time to spare so there is the first three switches now the fourth one is a little bit tricky it took me a second to find it but it's actually gonna be up top so we're gonna go back to where we were and we have to climb up on these little moving platforms which are kind of annoying and there's gonna be a climbable wall here so we're gonna climb all the way back up to reach this switch right down here there's the force switch that will lower the force field giving you access to the vehicle token for cliffside glide so there we go there's four switches it gives you plenty of time to do it so next up we're going to do a city swinger so this is in the nearby area near that fourth switch so we're going to fall down where that fourth switch was and there's going to be a little uh swinging puzzle here on these vines so you can use any character to swing across to get over to the kyber brick for city swinger and second to last we're going to do stocking up so this is going to be inside one of the buildings on the second floor in the middle of the map we're going to walk inside this little shop here 
And this is similar to the other puzzle that we did. We're just gonna stack the orange blocks on top of each other to reach the Kyber brick at the top of the middle of the room. And last but not least, we're gonna do Pawn Puzzler. Now, this one you have to complete a side mission first before this will unlock. You will not see these pieces here, which I'm putting into place. Um, so if you have not completed the side mission, you will not have access to this Kyber brick, which is kind of annoying. So check out my side mission guide to learn how to unlock this Kyber brick. So once you do that, put all the pieces in place, you'll get access to this cave for the final Kyber brick called Pawn Puzzler. And that's gonna do it for all the puzzles within Paw City, within Utapaw. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games. Thank <laughs> you.